Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today I have this gorgeous 2006 Porsche 911 S Cabriolet. Uh, this thing is the epitome of mint. 15,000 miles. It's been babied and garaged the whole way. It was ordered with a beautiful color combination and great option package. Uh, you know, this is the one that you want in your garage. Uh, I have no doubt this was owned by a guy, you know, he had it in the garage, tile floor, Porsche chemicals. He probably had really fashionable glasses and frankly might have even been an annoying guy. Doesn't matter. He kept a beautiful car and what a beautiful car it is. Look at this thing. Uh, you know, incredible sheet metal, guards red all around, original paint. It has a GT2 style wing. It's just beautiful. You see that on the back. It's got the sport exhaust, so it's got the four big tips on the bottom that can be, uh, you know, manually controlled for uh, loud and quiet or, you know, free flow and less so. Uh, of course, the 19-inch Carrera S wheels. Uh, it is the uh, S motor, so it's bumped up in horsepower, 3.8 liter, 355 horse, six-speed manual gearbox for pure driving enjoyment. Uh, you know, this 997 series really brought back to Porsche. Uh, what some people really thought had been missing since the air-cooled models. Uh, the body became a little bit more streamlined and reminiscent of the earlier cars. The uh, way it starts up in the morning kind of rattles and growls itself to life and a cacophony of sort of expensive sounding parts whirring. You know, the uh, styling of the interior, much more vintage Porsche uh, in terms of the way it looks. And everything is just so attractive on this car. Never mind driving it. I could just sit here and looking at it for a while. All right, let me show you under the uh, under the back where the engine is. We'll take a look at that. I think it was P.J. O'Rourke and car driver who referred to this car as an ass engine Nazi slot car. You know, probably one of the best descriptions ever. Uh, again, look at that 3.8 liter flat six. You can see how mint it is, how well kept. It's like showroom condition. Uh, you know, if this had been, uh, you know, transported back in time, you wouldn't be able to tell it from new. Mint back there, perfect, exactly what you want to see. And again, 355 horsepower, uh, ready to uh, put, its, uh, put its mark on the pavement. <laughs> Love those tips on the bottom too. Very, very cool. Let me show you in the frunk. It's a word I hate saying. I mean, it's an accurate word. I think that's what people call it, but I can't stand it. Frunk. I just feel like punching someone every time I say that. There you can see the mint original floor mats are there. We've got plastic down on the carpet for now. Uh, everything nice and tight and as it should be. Here's the CD changer and nav drive in there. Very good options on this car. I'm not going to pull it out, but under here is your toolkit and tire inflator and that sort of thing. And uh, everything is mint and exactly what you'd expect to see under the hood of a 15,000 mile 997. Look at the clarity of the lights. Can you tell this has been garage kept? There's not even a hint. They haven't been refinished. This is original. There's not a hint of any yellowing or cracking. The clarity of the fog lamp down there. Uh, you know, this thing is the epitome of babied and garaged. I don't see a rock chip on the front, not a stone chip. Uh, the thing is just, you get a bug. Let me get the bug off. <laughs> anyway, the thing is just absolutely mint. Uh, real nice Michelin Sports on there. Everything proper. That's uh, a pretty car. Uh, anyway, everything as it should be. Uh, back here, uh, when the top is down, these guys are rollover protection. So roll bars pop up out of there and keep you safe. Now have a look inside. I hate the iPhone for this. I'm going to pull back a little bit so you can see how nice and uniform and proper it is. Uh, every time I get close to these seats with the iPhone, the colors go wonky and it looks weirder than it is. The, uh, the, the seats are mint, proper, perfect. No discoloration at all. Let me get close. Uh, no entry wear. You can just tell this thing has been so nicely kept. It does have one of my favorite Porsche options, and that is full leather. That's like 5,000 bucks from the Porsche accessory store, the option store. Uh, it has beautiful stitched French leather on the door panels, up on the dashboard. Absolutely gorgeous. Here in the back, you've got room for two. I can't say adults, but maybe you'd squeeze a couple of adults back there. Canadians would certainly do it if they're on vacation. You get them back there, no problem. Uh, you can also lower that for cargo. 
Uh, that's a very classic 911 feature, quite nice. And like all classic 911s, it's been tough to get the seat belt back around, but they did engineer that on pretty good. I love these sports seats with the, there it is again, it looks wonky in the video, but it's not, it's perfect. Anyway, the sports seats with the extra bolster, you can see down there, their power with memory uh, and with adjustments to make everything nice. Here you see the memory adjustments, the window, bow sound, uh, again, very, very well equipped car. Okay, here it is with the soft top up and in place. You can see it's in exceptional condition. Very much like new, always been garage kept. Of course, glass rear window. Very, very nice and mint all around. Exactly what you would expect from this uh, super low mileage 997. So we're gonna get that top back down and go for a spin. Let's crank this thing up. Oh God, do I love that sound. Okay, so there is the flat six firing to life. Again, 355 horsepower. Got my seat belt on here. Uh, you see a beautifully laid out instrument cluster with the tack dead center. Uh, you can see a speedometer sort of an afterthought over there, temp gauge. Uh, all the other gauges you need for, you know, racing situations. Here's an optional multifunction steering wheel, leather covering, very nice. And uh, here you see just 15,000 miles on the clock. That's incredible. And look at that beautiful stitched leather dashboard uh, and the really subtle way they worked in the airbags. It just has such a vintage look to it. Uh, here is Porsche's PCM, a command unit with navigation. Very, very nice setup. There's your map, so a nice option there. You've got heated seats, you've got uh, defrost. Uh, what the heck is that? Eco. Oh yeah, that turns off the air. Here's your climate control, which we're going to give ourselves some little AC this morning. And uh, this controls, uh, this is now disabled because of that GT2 wing, so that's a fixed wing. Uh, this is sports suspension. This turns on the uh, loud exhaust. Wait a minute, here it is with the, uh, with the thing closed. Here it is with the exhaust open. Oh, oh, oh man, is that vicious. This will turn off your traction control if you want to have a little bit of fun. And here is your very classic style six speed manual gearbox. All right, let's do it. So here's the thing about 911s. I tell you what, let me run the top up and down. I know I'm gonna, I did a part where I stopped the video. I pretend to stop it. I, I did it earlier because I wasn't going to do this, but I'll do it now just so you can see it work. All right. There you go. Top up, windows down. Very, very nice feature, but I'm going to run it right back down because it's much more fun that way. See how nice and fast it is. That's fast enough to be used at a stoplight. Back comes that top cover. Perfect. All right, now you can see it works good. And away we go. What a fun, fun car. Let's get our uh, exhaust going here. What a fun car. I mean, absolutely incredible. You know, every 911 since inception has been a driver's machine. And with the 997, it really came back with a roar. This is so much like a, you know, warp speed version of 80s and 90s air-cooled Porsches. They did such a fantastic job with this car. The styling, the fit and finish, the feel from the steering wheel, the feel from the brakes, the sound from the exhaust. Now we've got our sport exhaust on. I don't want to scare this poor guy. All right. Anyway, what an amazing machine. Uh, so much fun to drive. Uh, so powerful through all the gears, all the way up to 180 miles an hour. Uh, you know, under five seconds, zero to 60, screaming fast quarter mile. I dare you to not have a blast in this car. Go on, good luck, try it. Try to drive it like you're just going to church and back. I, I don't think it'll happen. 
too incredible. Uh, if you have an interest, again, 06 997 Cabriolet Porsche 911 S, uh, 15,000 miles, just about to turn 16, and stunning in every way. What an amazing car. Uh, get us at 239 649 7300 on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Thank you for having a look today. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.